You're listening to Cheetah's Hotel. Hi, Marie. Uh, yes, hello. Hi, good morning. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry we're meeting under these circumstances, Marie. First off, I, yeah. I like to get a couple of the main questions out of the way. Like, number one, what is your boyfriend's name? Uh, it's Damien. Okay, and how long have you and Damien been dating? I guess it's been about a year and five and a half months. Very, very specific. Very specific there. Okay. So um, why did you email the show? Why did you email Candace? Okay. Well, I emailed because I simply, oh, something's going on and I'm not quite sure what it is, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. And it's weird because we were really close and I've never felt more distant from my boyfriend than I do right now. I just don't understand. Okay. Ever since we moved in together, just suddenly he has to work more, um, more dinners with his family, and you know, just out of the blue, he suddenly has a full schedule where he didn't before. It was always just he and I together doing everything. Do you right. feel like no, 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 hold on, Marie. Let's, let's all right. Let's let's calm it down a little bit, okay? Because sometimes okay. people like to put the oh cart. God. Yeah, I know. Calm down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Now, sometimes okay. people like to put the cart before the horse. So what if Damien really yeah. is just working more? And he is spending time with his family. Then I would be, I'd be thrilled and relieved, and I'd probably be embarrassed if that were the case, but I don't think that's all it is. I really do think he's cheating, and it makes me sick to think it, to say it, to hear myself saying it. All right, all right, don't get all worked up. Do you feel like he had a emptier schedule prior? Like, did you guys see each other more before you guys oh, moved yeah, in together? Absolutely. We definitely saw each other more before... We moved in together. God, we would do miniature golf one night, and then movies, dinner. We would just make up an excuse. We would have mutual friends, and mm -hmm. we'd just go hang out over their house. And all that has cut back by, like, 75%. Everything's different. Everything. Here's what we'll do. We'll call Damien. We'll just get to the bottom of this, make this simple, quick, right to the point. We'll call Damien. We'll offer him a trip for two to Las Vegas, and we'll see if he wants to okay. take you or someone else. First off, give me one of Damien's yeah. friends' names. Male or female? It doesn't matter. All right, we'll call Damien. We'll tell him that signed him up to win a vacation for two in Las Vegas. And we'll see if he wants to take you or if he wants to take somebody else. We'll find out in three minutes. Okay. You're listening to Cheetah's Hotel. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheetah's Hotel with Candace K and Double J in the morning. You're listening to Cheetah's Hotel. Quick recap for you on this morning's Cheetah's Hotel. Marie emailed us about her boyfriend of a year and a half. His name is Damien. They made the decision, okay, we're going to move in together, right? And everything was going great, but as you would suspect, things started falling apart. She says, mm -hmm. we don't spend time together anymore. We used to go to the movies. We used to go get drinks. We used to go to friends' house. But we're not doing any of that. It's been cut back by 75% in her words. So we're going to call Damien, her boyfriend. We're going to offer him a trip for two to Las Vegas. We're going to see, will he want to take Marie, his girlfriend, or will he want to take someone else? Hello? Aloha, is this Damien? Hi, this is Damien. Aloha, Damien. My name is Sharon. I work at the travel agency here in town. We're called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm calling you to let you know that your name has been selected as one of our weekly weekend getaways to Las Vegas. Your friend took a trip with us and signed you up for the weekly flyaway. So congratulations. It's your lucky day. Your name was drawn. You're this week's big winner, which means you are going to Las Vegas. Yeah. Was did give you my name or was my name drawn? Well, I've gotten these calls before. No, submitted your name and then we drew your name. So congratulations. You're going to Las Vegas. All right. And do you need a credit card? Am I just going to Las Vegas? What, like? I'll tell you the whole package that we're going to set you up with, but there's no strings attached. I'm not going to take your credit card information. I'm not even going to take a deposit. If that makes you feel any better, I could just tell you what the package is, and you can decide from there. All right. Two round-trip tickets to Las Vegas from Honolulu, a two-night stay in one of the MGM Grand's 1,300-square-foot parlor suites, custom-made bathrobes for you and the guest you bring, plus food oh. and gambling credits. And like I said before, I'll say it again, no strings are attached. I'm not taking your credit card information. I'm not taking a deposit. All I need to move forward is the first and last name of the guests you'd like to bring with you. That way I can sign you guys up and you can take this vacation whenever you want. 
Yeah, I want to see those custom robes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love how that was um, a selling point for all of this. Custom made <laughs> robes. I've never seen that. Right. Do you have um, an idea of the person you'd like to bring with you? Yeah, Brittany. Okay, Brittany. B R I. Okay, wonderful. Now, as an added touch, I'm going to help you leave a personalized card on the bed uh, for Brittany to read when you guys first get to the room. I just need a message you'd like to leave for Brittany, and we'll be all set to go. Um. All right. Just uh, our. Our first vacation together is going to be unforgettable. Love you. First vacation together is going to be unforgettable. Love you. Very sweet. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Trying to be sweet. Paired up with the robes. You're like a little candy, huh? What? What? Damien? Yeah? Hi. How are you? What the f***? All right. I gotta go. No, oh, no, no. Damien, I'm still here. Damien. All right. What the f***? Couple things. Number one, there really is no Sharon from Aloha Vegas Getaways. Yeah, you, sorry. Yeah, you, know, you weren't talking with Sharon. You were talking with my friend, no, my I buddy. did that. Right. You were talking with my friend, my buddy, my pal. Her name is Candace. Candace, say hi. How's it? My name is Double J. Together, Candace K. Double J in the morning for Power 104.3. Damien, you're on the radio right now. You're on a radio segment called Cheaters Hotel. All right. You guys sound like a... You can call me an a-hole if you want, but do you know who that voice is? What the f*** is going on? Damien, that's your girlfriend, Marie. Not Brittany. Not Brittany. Mm-mm. Ta-da. All right. Damien. Ta-da. All right, so what the f***? Knew it. Okay, so what the F is, <laughs> there is no trip. You're not going to Las Vegas. Your girlfriend set you up on the radio to see if you would take her to Las Vegas. Which you didn't. And you didn't, you jackknob. So you got caught oh, cheating. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, you, you are. You are a jackknob. Damien, what the f*** is going on? I'm not cheating. You are cheating. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. I'm not cheating. You are. Okay, hold no, on. I live, I, I live with Marie. Why would I f*** that up? Well, I don't know. You're an idiot. That's why. <laughs> That's my oh, guess. Idiot. Oh, I get this random call about some bathrobes, and now I'm a fucking idiot who's cheating. It's okay, not. yeah. It's more than just bathrobes. Yeah, you are an idiot because it's the most listened to segment on the radio here in Hawaii, and you didn't know about Marie, it. Marie, listen to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're bringing your stupid to Vegas? Oh, yeah. my God. No, it's, it's Are you kidding me? Damien, you sh shut your lying lips for a second. Marie, dry those little cute little eyes, okay? Let's pity Pat. You don't talk to her like that. Oh, beautiful Marie, who who I would cherish and adore. Let's dry you those. You have a girlfriend, Double J. I know, but I'm trying to piss this oh, ass off. Got it. All right, so. <laughs> you, well, at least I'm not cheating on my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me neither. So go ahead. I, I'm sure you're cheating. Oh, me neither. So. <laughs> Shall I read the note that yeah, you wanted to do, leave? Please do, Candace. Our first vacation together is going to be unforgettable. Love you. Oh, wow, you're I'm hilarious. Gonna throw up. Unforgettable, <laughs> Brittany, that's what Don't you are. Hey, 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 guys, c cut it the f out, all right? Unforgettable. Marie, listen to me, all right? No, here <laughs> or far. Come in. Can you hear me? Just f yourself. Bro. Tell me why you did it. Why? I'm not cheating. To so all the ladies that are listening this morning, I apologize on behalf of all men for men being fucking morons. Are you singing? Why don't you apologize for your bullshit singing? First off, and, and, and you fucking like hitting on me when you're like, like, oh hi, hi. Oh, it's called customer service. Like, Learn about it. That was jackass. Yeah, and by the way, that's why Damien, you're on the radio, looking like an. <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, right. guys, guys, can I please just... Oh, I'm like, sorry, why? sorry, she's He's still crying. Cheating. Yeah, you guys, you guys, just you're, you're tell being me. Asshole. Like Marie, Marie and I are cool, and like you're f***ing it up, you're being asked. Right. I don't think you and her are cool at all, but okay. Marie, are you and Damien cool? No, we're not cool at all. That's why no, you're not, not cool. cool. You know why we're not cool? If, if you're going to make a big thing out of this, if you really want to know... All right, I moved from the I want to know... Wait, what? Listen, okay. All right, if no. you want this to be public, I was, like, trying to have a little privacy in our lives. Like, you, you can't about? stop 
farting, you are f***ing the place up the all time. <laughs> it smells <laughs> like... <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. No, hold on one second, hold on one second. Are you kidding me right now? Wait, <laughs> wait a second. I'm serious. Wait a second. Wait, it smells funny. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Wait, like, wait. wait. You want to air everything out? Wait, is, that, is that what you're here to is do? Is that you a fart joke? Out? I wish I could air everything out. Wait, is, wait, is wait, airing wait, everything wait. out of our truck? Hey. Damien, hold on one second. We have had a lot of excuses on this show since we started this segment. This one we've never heard before. You're saying it's that... It's not an excuse. I can't even be in my own home. You're saying... Wait! Get the f*** around. Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait a second. I'm, let me... Candace, be professional. Let's be professional. Let's be professionals about this. Marie, do... Candace, stop. Sorry. Stop. Hey, what? Marie, all right, look, she's, she's upset. Stop. Okay. Marie, I'm going to say this as delicate as possible, okay? What? Do you... Do you pass gas a lot? I... I mean, I do a little bit. I mean, I'm comfortable. It's my own house, you are know? You guys are... Damien, you're the one who exposed her gastral problems on the air, and I don't even know if that's a medical term, but it sounds like one. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to get to the heart of things, all right? I'm trying to wrap this up. Is it because you're lactose intolerant? Candace is, too. Same, girl. Soy milk all day. It has nothing to do with it. I don't even know. I'm just... It's my house. I can just do what I want, can't I? Let's just take a 30-minute time frame, okay? In 30 yeah. minutes... Okay, it, you and Damien are sitting on the couch. I don't know, you, you're watching Ellen. Yeah. You're waiting to see who's going to come out dancing with Ellen. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. And how many times do you put burn marks on the couch? Uh, oh, my God. This is insane. I don't know, maybe three? Oh, oh three. God. That is bullshit. No, it's like 20. And, and, yeah, and, you. and that's her trying to control it. Let's talk about when she's asleep. Holy oh. shit. When I'm lying oh my there, God, I can't even believe this is in happening. our bed. This is for like, real. Oh, it's like a can you pick your nose, Damien? Oh, Where do you put your boogers? On the, on the armrest of the sofa. It, it's like unbearable. Like, that, that's a collection that's just on the couch. armrest. Do you guys spoon? Do you guys cuddle at night? Yeah. And then she's farting on me all night. I pray <laughs> to God that I fall asleep before her. Wait, I'm trying to paint a picture Wait, so here. so she's little spoon. She's a farting little spoon? Oh, oh yeah. Dude. It rumbles oh, my side. It rumbles your what? It rumbles what? my side. It's like you guys have a vibrating bed. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's aggressive. It's aggressive. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you're a dick wide. You know that. You're just a f***er. You want to get it all out? We're getting it all out. And you always get it all out. So I fart a little bit, and you have to cheat on me because of it. It's the most inane response I've ever heard. Just because you're a mm -hmm. horn dog. Seriously, though, how would you feel? If I was farting on you all the time, like, you know, but like, you I mean, honestly, hold on. Together. She's not farting on you. She, she no, passes gas. She passes a little bit of gas every now and then. Right. That's Maybe like, a you're not there. You're not there. Come I mean, on. You're, you're exaggerating. In 30 minutes, you're saying she farts 20 times and that's why you cheated on her? The smell never goes away. So I don't know if it's 20 or if it's one that just decimates the room, but it, it might as well be 20. All right. All right. Yeah. David, you really are. By the way, David, stop putting your boogers on the arm. Yeah, rest. that's just gross. That's gross, bro. Yeah, why don't you, Damien? I just imagine her pick her. one it's giant so atom great. bomb that she right. drops. And Damien is just like, that's it. I've had enough. I'm cheating on you now. That's a little ridiculous. Yeah, were you there? <laughs> no. Apparently not. That singes my nose. <laughs> Alright, David, you're a I'm guessing Marie, you're breaking up with him. Yeah, and I'd like to tell him one last thing to yeah. get f himself. And good luck paying the wrench, clicker. Uh -huh. You're listening to Cheat.